And the person we're all talking about here, that low country native who grabbed a silver medal in the spotlight, Burke High School graduate Raven Saunders, delivered on her promise to medal and make a statement in the 2020 Olympics. That's right. And of course, Tokyo is 13 ahead yes. hours ahead of where sure. we are right here. But when an Olympian calls you at 6 a.m. like Raven called me, you wake up and you have a conversation. <laughs> Raven, congratulations from Charleston, South Carolina. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are just wondering how you feel and how you felt stepping into that ring. Uh, I felt, I felt supported. Um, I felt, I felt loved. I felt like I, I knew that, um, that, that my whole city was behind me. Raven, you certainly um, got a lot of attention because of your hair and the mask. How much of that is important to you sending a message and the message you want your look to send to the world? The message that I want to send out is that, you know, I want everyone to just learn how to be comfortable being themselves. And I want people to get comfortable accepting people for just being themselves. What, if we can learn how to just appreciate people for who they are, what they do, and you know, where they come from, um, I feel like that's when a true unity can start happening. Let's talk about you being on that podium and making that X with your arms. A lot of yes, people have been talking about that and what it means. Can you explain why you did that? Being, you know, a black woman, being a member of the LBGTQ uh, community and being an uh, advocate um, and someone that has, you know, dealt with uh, mental health um, problems. I'm a representation of that intersection of so many different groups that are oppressed. Um, I felt like it was my duty uh, to, to show solidarity with um, the people that, that I stand with, the people that, you know, look like me or the people that deal with the things that I deal with. Raven, of course, there are other athletes from the low country who are in Tokyo as well. Jasmine Camacho Quinn and also Malern Jean. Well, I've, I've seen Jazz like the whole entire time that I've been here. Uh, I was, I think I almost broke the TV in the weight room uh, cheering for her. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw her cross that line, you know, me and Jazz, we literally, we ran the state of track and field, uh, South Carolina for track and field, uh, our four years of high school. We're still the top in our, our events and, you know, still the top of our game and we're still, you know, very young. We're still unapologetic and, you know, we're doing great things. We haven't had a chance to speak since the city of Charleston decided they would name Stony Field for you. That that place, you know, holds such a such a great significance to me because it's really where where really my journey started. You know, I was in band, you know, on that field. I was, you know, the mascot on that field. Uh, when when I was there and I remember that, you know, my old man, I remember digging up the, the old throwing ring shot put in discus ring from the 60s and having that that field named after me. It just it warms my heart. Raven, when we talked before, you said that mental health is as important as physical health in terms of your training. And you have really worked on training your mind to be strong. You know, like a muscle, if you don't work the muscle, eventually it becomes weak. Um, so I, I've just treated my mind the exact same way um, in that respect, if not more, uh, constantly doing daily check-ins with myself, constantly doing, you know, yoga, constantly meditating, um, you know, make to, just to make sure that at the end of the day that, you know, I'm, I'm good, that I'll be good, that I'm solid mentally. And then, you know, because I know if, I'm, if my mind is strong, you know, my body is going to follow. Well done. Thank you for representing us so well. Your final thoughts and what you want to say to the people back here. In, in the words of my Gucci people, um, y'all boy, we, uh,